so my name is Adam Amaral, and I'm the founder and creative director at our company, Master of Shapes. We're an interactive design studio that specializes in making the impossible, or a bunch of weird stuff, essentially. And we're here at K1 trying out virtual reality go-karts. The idea came from a combination of things. So we actually did a project back in 2015 for Castrol where we, we tracked a full-size car and let you drive in, in a virtual reality. At the time, technology wasn't caught up, VR headsets were kind of old school, and our tracking tech was good, but not good enough to drive in like an actual closed course. So when we got an opportunity to work with Intel, and they mentioned, hey, we want you to do a project that uses VR and uses Intel Nux, we were like, let's revisit the idea from back in the day. But we've always wanted to make essentially virtual reality Mario Kart, so we're like, let's do it now. So the actual tech for this is a kind of multi-stage process. Uh, first stage to get this working is you need to match the digital world with the real world, right? So for that, we took a LiDAR scanner and scanned this entire space and we got a millimeter accurate representation of the actual track. Uh, once you have the track all sorted, we need to figure out how to track a go-kart in the space, right? And for that case, we uh, reached out to a company called Black Tracks, and they develop IR motion capture cameras that work really well at long distance. So we positioned 28 cameras all around the space, and those actually track these IR uh, stringers here on the cart, and those give us positional data. So we've got the real world representation, you've got the tracking sorted, then we had to outfit the cart to actually run a computer, right? So we custom printed some 3D mounts, mounted an Intel knock to the back, powered it from the cart's actual battery, and then added the string potentiometers and different sensors to read in the steering wheel input and the throttle and gas. Final step is take all that together, put it in Unreal Engine, which is a game engine, and essentially we made like a post-apocalyptic Tokyo level that you can drive through in virtual reality. It's all like neon, there's like fire and stuff, there's there's um, like tons of buildings with like glowing neon signs. Kind of just a cool representation of what you think this track could look like in a virtual world somewhere else. Mm -hmm. The power-ups are pretty sweet. So in the case of K1, they have these remote controls we saw the employees using. And they use it just to like throttle the go-karts when the race is done. When we saw that, we were like, I wonder if we can hook up to that and like control it ourselves from the game. And so the way the power-ups work is we're actually driving over a collision in the virtual world. And when that collision happens, say over a speed burst, we send a serial call over USB to their remote control that actually speeds up or slows down the go-kart. So it's effective like real working power-ups. K1 was really helpful for us. We reached out originally just to get a cart from them. And when they heard what we were doing, they totally were like, hey, take the cart and take access to the full track. So for the past month, they've given us full access to their track in the mornings and we've had an opportunity to do whatever we want here essentially. So they've been really pivotal in getting us enough testing time to see if this thing can actually work. The goal is definitely to get this out to the public. Like we want to make something super cool but we don't want it to be this exclusive 1% where only no, only like five people get to try it. We want everyone to try this and that's our plan. We, we have a few more months to like really polish it down but well, we did this in four to six weeks essentially and, and we already have a full working prototype. Another few months I think we can get this thing like perfect public ready so everyone can try it.